Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to ATM Spellbound. Uh, so since the last episode, it has been a bit of time. I've been raising our, uh, our build upwards. I did a little bit more work on the inside. Uh, right now, it's a big open space uh, here that I'm working on, kind of shaping up uh, and deciding on where rooms and stuff like that are going to go. Uh, but it's still very much a work in progress on the inside. Uh, now today, what we're going to be doing, because this is actually the top, this is going to have, the tower is going to come up, uh, and this is going to have kind of a topper, probably, on some of this stuff out here, um, so it's not so flat. Uh, but we're going to start working right out here today. We're actually going to start into a little bit of astral sorcery, uh, I do believe. Um, that way we can get a big AoE ritual in place just to keep mobs from spawning uh, in the surrounding area. Um, I do believe, but we're actually pretty close to having the the main structure of the castle in place. That's what I'm trying to push to, because we bring all this up. Of course, this up here is just kind of decoration stuff. I've got to bring up the side here just a little bit, and I've got to bring up this back section here uh, a bit, uh, which is actually where our room is going to be. So I'm kind of excited to actually have a proper bedroom uh, here pretty soon, so trying to just get the structure all in place so that way we can just decorate build the inside the underground and some of the kind of adjoining areas but today like i said we're going to start getting into some astral let's go ahead and get our astral tome let's go ahead and open this up there is one quest um and we're going to get the resonating wand and it's going to open up a bunch more quests here uh so the very first thing we're going to do um i did go and i got some aquamarine and i want to show you something I got this with Silk Touch just so I could show you guys. It's actually amazing. So we got 17 Aquamarine Shell here. And watch how much we get from mining this. Boom! So much Aquamarine! Because <laughs> uh, of course we got Fortune 6 on our uh, AIOT. And then of course we have uh, some added levels of Fortune thanks to our equipment. So uh, we actually get a lot of Aquamarine. Like I mined one, I got like a half stack and I was like, what? It's amazing. It's wonderful. Uh, but let's go ahead. Let's pop out. Um, and we're going to set out to find ourselves, of course, an astral temple to get started. Or actually, instead of popping out, let's just teleport over to the mountain area. Um, because I think we've got a lot of these little astral temples. Uh, mountains tend to be one of the best places to find them. And also, I did put on the effortless ring. Uh, but let's go ahead. Let's switch to the magnetic ring from the arcane spoil. Uh, for now. And let's go ahead and get this water dealt with. Uh, I guess those can be waterlogged. Let's go ahead and get rid of the water here. Uh, because we're going to want to open this up. And we need the water to quit flowing in order to do that properly. Okay, now as we progress, I'm not 100% sure if the blue skies dimension will on its own. We'll have to see if it has starlight. Um, or if we're going to have to wait until we progress to starlight collection before we can set up in our blue skies dimension so that might be uh, a little bit of a push for us uh, as we progress but we're going to put our crafting table down just near uh, the collector crystal here and let's see what we got we got some constellation paper uh, that's our Mara we've already gotten a few of them as you can see and then we've also got uh, Avatos, and then this one is nothing at the moment because uh, we have all the basic constellations. So, uh, and also let me go ahead and just get a uh, let me get some parchment, and let me get just an astral tome uh, instead of using the Akashic tome version. We're going to just use a regular one. It'll just make our lives a little bit easier because that way we can put all of our constellation papers into this oh and uh i gotta remove this my bad there we go your vision expands we learn more about exploration that's because we made our luminous crafting table and it was taking a while all right let's go ahead and break this uh and i'm gonna set up well i don't really guess i need a waystone here but something i am gonna do is just get rid of all this just so we can get rid of all this water. 
Okay, so if we set this up, you can say it's got Starlight in it. I want to pop over, uh, just over to home real quick. I just want to see if we have Starlight here. We do. We actually do have Starlight. That is perfect. That is perfect. Oh, it doesn't, uh, I guess if we want to use our, if we want to break our, uh, Luminous crafting table, while we're in that dimension, we're going to have to use the, uh, like, silk touch, I guess. If we had it set up right here... Oh, wow, we, it seems like we actually have a lot of starlight here. Watch it be... I'm going to laugh if this ends up being a uh, starlight field. If not, I mean, it's got a lot of starlight uh, where we're at at the moment. And we're at a perfect Y level, so that uh, this is going to be maximum efficiency. Okay, now it looks like we got some basic quests here, uh, like to get rock crystals... Uh, now, out of curiosity, if we had the Resonating Wand in this dimension, I don't think that our stuff's going to spawn here. Uh, so while it's night, let's go ahead, let's pop back over, and let's go out in search of some rock crystal. Here we go, here's a little bit. So uh, there we go, there's our rock crystal. All right, let me grab that, that, and we're liable to get a whole lot of it, uh, thanks to our fortune effect. I think that's all in this one. Uh, we got five. That's pretty good. Uh, let me pop back. Dump all this. <clears throat> and we'll try to get a bit more while we're out. Um, I think this is the easiest way is just to warp out, though. Let's see if we can get our hands on at least a little bit more rock crystal while it's night. Since I don't live in uh, the overworld, it's a little bit... I might have to set up something to... Uh, basically just a, a daylight sensor to detect and tell me when it is night. Um, maybe in our astral area. So that makes it a little bit easier if we need to do something in the overworld. But I'm hoping that uh, we're not actually going to need the overworld much. And especially since it's going to be night all the time. Oh, I must have mined it. As I was coming down, I must have mined it. Okay. Well, that works. Well, let's pop over here then and see if if we can find some in this area. Of course, it's only going to show up at night uh, with the resonating wand. There is, of course, some workarounds where if you use, uh, you know, something like, say, to scan it. You can scan for rock crystal. And All right, there we go. And there's four more. And of course, there is vein mine settings to make a big tunnel. You could do that also, but uh, I don't feel like changing my vein miner uh, to that, to be honest. Okay, and it looks like the sun's up now, so I think I think we should be good. We got quite a bit of rock crystal here, so all right. Now to make ruined marble, uh, we can just do it with the stone cutter. That's great. I moved it up here to do the arches uh, over here, so. We actually have a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and just get a bunch, though. There we go. And, uh, oh, we lost our starlight because it's daytime in the overworld. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I was hoping it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't see it that way, but it, it seems to. So we can have it here. It's just we're still going to have to abide by the normal rules. Of when we can do things. Uh, let's get a rock crystal that's not very good, ideally. Uh, like the worse, the better, just to get it out of here. Uh, we're going to go with a size 1 purity 2. Alright, so in that case, what we're going to do is let's get ourselves a ritual brazier. There we go. And then let's get ourselves a tablet of Moonfall. Uh, but I've got to have some cascading arch wood. All right, let's grab that. And then we can get our tablet of Moonfall. All right, that's going to complete a quest. And chances are, well, actually, I know for a fact we're going to have to run some source up here. That's fine. We're sending source up to this jar here, uh, just basically feeding it up to that and then up to there. Alright, so then we should be able to uh, click the Tablet of Moonfall. Hopefully, well, right now it is it is night in the overworld, so we can go ahead and craft at the moment. 
And there we go, quest completed. We got our very first light whale. And then they want us to get a bucket of liquid starlight. That is fine. Um, so right now we're just gonna put our light whale down. Cause I'm thinking we're gonna have it set up over here for more like automation. Um, but since I don't have that stuff in place just yet, we're just gonna set it up right here so we can start getting uh, ourselves some liquid starlight built up. Um, and then while that's running, uh, I don't really want either of these at the moment. Well, looking glass, maybe. We could go ahead and do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and get ourselves some pains. There's that. Uh, and then for the looking glass, gold sticks, planks. All right, so there is our looking glass. We'll go ahead and get that crafted up. And then they want us to make the starlight crafting altar. We can do that once we get our bucket of liquid starlight. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this out. Really, really quick. Try to push through this basic stuff. Uh, and then we're also going to need a rock crystal. Once again, using kind of a, a weak one is ideal here. Uh, because quality isn't going to matter much. And let me go ahead and turn this off. Let me get a bucket... And we'll go ahead and get our very first bucket of liquid starlight. So there we go. That quest is completed. And then, uh, there we go. We're going to go ahead and upgrade this altar. Um, and then, of course, we're going to have to build the multi-block. Uh, now, the only thing is, I don't know. Uh, we're going to have to break this. Let me try using Silk Touch. Hopefully this works. Because when I broke this with the... Because when I broke the Luminous Crafting Table, it didn't work. Okay, that works. That's great. And then, of course, we're going to have to make our multi-block. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to need a bunch of sooty marble. So let's go ahead and just get a stack for now. Oh, it breaks so slow. Ah. <gasps> Oh, it actually doesn't give... It seems like Astral Sorcery stuff, it does not work with the Alfsteel AIOT in this dimension. So, um, I'm just going to leave you be. Okay, so we'll just get the first structure built out real quick. Okay, so right now it's going to show up as red, but as soon as we place these last couple blocks, there we go. Now it's showing up as gray, which means that the multi-block is correctly formed. Uh, now, before we turn it night, let's go ahead and lay out the Fosic Resonator, because I'm going to want to make one of these. And we're going to need some Liquid Starlight for that as well, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves a couple buckets. I'm honestly thinking having it be sitting here. Uh, and we're just going to set up some trap doors, uh, so we can make it nice and thin. We're going to have some Liquid Starlight, uh basically in like a barrel right here and uh, we'll probably set up some more of these in other places maybe but if we throw that in let's go ahead and just throw in a full stack of lunar wood let's make sure that lunar wood would work for this but it does any kind of any kind of log wood and we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a bunch of infused wood there we go we got a stack of it and then we can place that out. That should be everything, right? Yeah. Okay, now let's go ahead and set it to night. Let's grab our Tablet of Moonfall, right click that, and let's go ahead and right click that. It's gonna use, uh, you can see Tablet of Moonfall running, and uh, then it's gonna turn it to night for us. So we can do that anytime, basically. Just go over and right click our uh, altar there. Anytime we want it to turn night, and then we'll be all set. Oh, a couple things I noticed. Uh, it seems like it actually uses up the tablet for this one, and it does not work in this dimension. So I'd have to actually go to the overworld uh, and do it that way. So... Uh, 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 uh. Okay, well, in that case, what we're going to do, we're going to leave that be for just a moment. Uh, I can actually use nighttime to get a few things together, so it's not a big deal. Uh, at least for the time being. 
uh, like the telescope. I'm going to want to make a telescope for sure. All right, now while we're waiting for it to turn night, um, since that didn't quite work out for us, we're going to set out uh, to actually get our hands on a little bit of iron ore at this point, because uh, we're going to need it here in just a moment. So let's go ahead and just grab a handful of this at least. And we'll also be able to get our attunement rolling, uh, which will be nice as well. Um, there's a few other ways that we can turn it to night. Um, I did play around with one idea in a test world. As soon as we realized that we weren't going to be able to uh, do Astral all the time without it being night, you know, uh, in the overworld. And uh, unfortunately it didn't work and it was using uh, occultism spirits and then setting up a spawner that spawned them. Uh, I can do it using evil craft uh, to make the spawn eggs. I can do it, no problem. Uh, but the problem is it doesn't keep the Gion's data, so it doesn't know that it's supposed to be saying it's nighttime, you know? So it'll spawn the spirits, but they don't actually do anything. It just spawns a bunch of little ender dragon looking spirits, so it didn't quite work out for us. Uh, honestly, a stack of this can be fun. Let's go ahead and pop back home. Yeah, and let's head up. It's about to be night. Okay, it is turning night, and we're starting to get some starlight built up in this. That's great. And then we're going to start off with our Fosic Resonator. Go ahead and get that out of the way. So there's that. Um, and then we'll get that back. It's not emptying the buckets. I thought it's supposed to, but it doesn't seem to be. Um, and then let's go ahead and get ourselves the telescope. Oh, I can't shift click that in because I didn't have this opened. There we go. All right, it's going to take just a second to get our starlight up to where it needs to be. Um, while that's doing that, I'll have to fly around a little bit here. Ah, we do get them in this dimension. Um, unfortunately, we don't have one where we're at. But that's okay. That should be fine. We should be okay without it. All right, so there is our telescope. We don't have a ton of starlight here, but we've got a decent amount uh, to get through, I think. Um, and then worst comes to worst, we can always set up temporarily in a star field. Um, and then let's go ahead, let's also get our linking tool, because we're going to need to do a little bit with linking tools to make our star metal. And then let's also go ahead and get a bunch of pines. And then I want to get a bunch of astral relays. Twelve. Uh, Twelve should be fine. There we go. And then now it's time that we go get some star metal. <clears throat> so easy, quick way to do that. Let's just pop over to the mountains. And right over here and we're gonna set up our iron ore just right there grab that and link these to our crystal collector now if we had elemental craft set up we could duplicate this but we don't have that at the moment uh, so we're actually just gonna be going with single times um, for our ingots but single time processing oh, and it looks like our quests opened up a lot we have all this stuff here. Uh, we'll also be able to get uh, conversion wand and formation. I'm not that worried about formation, but conversion wand will be useful. Uh, it's not the only method for conversion because there's what? There's Psy, there's uh, R's, there's Man and Artifice, there's, you know, so many mods that can do conversion. Uh, but there's something about the conversion wand that's just kind of nice uh, especially if you're building outside if you're building inside it's not as great because you do need uh, your starlight and doing a bunch with conversion one you can eat through your starlight pretty quick um, but especially for working outside I don't know really how much we'll use it though uh, to be perfectly honest so um, just because we're not really converting a whole lot uh, we're just adding detail up the sides of things you know 
Okay, uh, I need to pop down real quick because I need to convert some of this into ingots real quick. I'm going to go ahead and do a half stack of it. Okay, so there's a half stack of star metal for us. And then we'll just pop back up. And we're going to get our human altar crafted. Yeah, we've actually got really good starlight here. All right, so we'll get that going. And then while that's running, well, that's done. Um, let's go over here. And, of course, we're going to have to do some attunement. Uh, also, I need to find... Actually, probably best. We got that stuff. Let's pop over to the overworld now. And set up our telescope and see if we can get some constellations found tonight. Nah, it's too close to day to really get them. Okay. Because it took me a second to figure out which one I was looking at, and then it's, it's too late then. All right. That's kind of like a, a night thing. We need to actually probably start off with that, because we're going to need to get some constellations. Uh, okay, so we're going to find the middle of this. I always hate finding the middle after I place the blocks, um, because these blocks are just so dark. I think this is the middle, as long as this. Two, three, four, five, six, seventh. Yeah, this right here is the middle. Uh, so we're going to put our human altar in right there. And then we're going to just fill this up with sooty marble. Uh, I'm going to need a bit more of this. Okay, there we go. Um, and then I'm going to need... In here, under attunements... Let's find the starlight attunement section. Uh, and we're going to need... I think these are hollow, right? Yeah. Uh, we're going to need the... Ruined marble... And then we'll be taking this three high, and then we're going to be topping it with uh, chiseled. And it's going to start sparkling. That means it's built correctly. All right. Now, before we can actually use that, though, we're actually going to have to discover some constellations, of course. We are going to want the star metal cutting tool, though, so we can get some stardust. And then the celestial altar is actually doable for us at this point. So we're going to plan on uh, making that as well as soon as the night sets in and at that point we'll pretty much have the initial progression there is of course one more tier uh, but pushing on to that final tier takes a little bit more because we'll be getting into celestial crystals and we'll also be getting into uh, starlight infusions so okay the moon's coming up let's go ahead and see if we can get some constellations let's grab our book and use that kind of as a reference Uh, this one, there we go, you have to wait till it gets just dark enough, and we're just going to click and drag that, there we go, we got VCO, uh, which is actually the one I wanted the most, I wanted to grab tonight, uh, let's see, oh, this one, there we go. Okay, it looks like that's all the ones we have out tonight. It's just those two. That's fine. Um, there's three other ones, of course, that we can get once uh, once they show up. So, um, But let's pop back home at this point. The moon should be up enough that we can do a little bit of crafting. And we can go ahead and get our attunement done and out of the way as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab our VCO paper. Because that's the one that we're going to attune to. And I'm going to have to grab this up in a minute. But for right now, we're going to find where this blue stuff is coming up out of the ground. We're going to set these down. Basically set up our VCO area. And that's going to activate. And then what we can do is we can just step inside the attunement altar. And it's going to attune us, of course. Um... We're going to be going with VCO, which means that by default we're going to be leveling uh, just by moving around. I decided we're going to go with that one this time. Uh, and we're going to kind of just bum rush it to max level and then maybe switch. Well, we, we'll definitely respec it and probably go with more kind of Armara focus. I like the defense, you know. Uh, there's a lot of overlap with Astro Sorcery when you have other mods available. Uh, so you don't really need like plant growth. Uh, you know, we don't really need durability repair. 
Uh, you know, there's a lot of little things like that that we just don't need. Um, but I think just going with a lot of defense, it's always a good option. All right, and we've got a little bar over here. You can see it's going, it's actually just passively going up on its own. Uh, but if we start moving, we're going to start getting experience. It's actually funny because it's just going up on its own. Like, it's just passively. I think we have just have passive leveling at this point. Sounds good. Uh, normally, it would be from moving around. Uh, you know, as we, as we travel the world, we're going to get experience coming from that. But, all right. Let's go ahead and pull this up. Let's get uh, the star metal cutting tool. I actually just want one of these. I don't want a whole horde of the things. And this way we can cu start cutting uh, stardust. So there's that. Um, and then let's go ahead. I think we're going to go ahead and just upgrade at this point um, our celestial altar. Or upgrade to the celestial altar. Oh yeah, we need the stardust though first. All right, so let's go ahead and pull off our magnet ring for right now. We're going to go ahead and toss down our star metal. And go ahead and start smacking that. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. I'm actually going to put unbreakable on this also. Um, because I don't want to have to deal with durability on it. So that way we won't have to repair it. Um, and then we can go ahead... And upgrade now to our celestial altar. Alright, that's the next quest. Yep. Okay. Want to make sure that I had the correct quest there. And then let's go ahead and grab our Tumen altar at this point. Just to finish up that quest. And we got shooting across the sky. And we have our celestial altar. Now at this point we're going to have to upgrade our altar. And we're just about to level, actually. Uh, before our new altar set up, we're going to be going with this right here. And the nice thing is, this tier, it actually is going to stay as is. Um, we're going to add a topper to it later, which I'll probably go ahead and add, to be honest. Um, because it saves us time in the long run. I swear the mining speed with Effortless Ring is just, it's so big. I just really wanted it for the uh, movement speed, because... Um, you know, ever since the update, my movement speed's been a little bit wonky, but uh, the mining speed on it is incredible. Alright, and this is the very last block. Uh, well, it's daytime, so we can't see how much starlight's in this, but that's okay. Uh, now, like I said, there is a topper. Uh, if we go back, I'll go ahead and get this put on, like between episodes, just so that we've got it. Um, but if we take a look at the iridescent altar, um, basically we just need to add this to the top. So it's just a, a few blocks. Uh, actually, I can go ahead and add it real quick. And of course, this way we'll be able to build out the top of this if we want. Um, because this will be the final version of the altar. At least for the base structure itself. And you can see it doesn't conflict with this, but as soon as we upgrade, the altar will just change over and... That'll be done. Uh, now we do have to actually pick up the altar, so let me do that really, really quick. Boom. There we go. And that's going to unlock a few more quests. And we gain access to the tree beacon. Um, I don't think that's the route that we're going to take for our tree farm. We're going to get around to that soon. It hasn't really been a big rush, because technically we do have wood essence as well uh, available. I've technically got, like, infinite wood at this point, but... Uh, I do need to grab, i be a little bit careful because this thing will get out of hand extremely fast if I'm not careful. I'm going to go ahead and pull these up though because we don't actually need these at the moment. Uh, and that way it'll complete that quest for attunement for us. Uh, and this quest is just a checkmark quest. We're going to go ahead and take that. Uh, and then we get the quest for traversal wand, conversion wand, formation wand, impulsion wand. Uh, and we'll make these. I'm going to probably wait because I think next episode... Hmm, I'm going to give it some thought and we might be setting up something for toggling it to night a lot easier. Uh, so we don't have to keep fighting that. It hasn't been a big deal because I've been getting things together uh, a lot. But at this point I think I'd like to have easy access to night uh, on demand. 
Uh, now, at this point, we do have one level. Um, let's go ahead. So our very first perk, we can either take increased reach or dodge. Let's just take the... Uh, this stuff isn't going to matter that much, like long term. Um, I've got a lot of reach at the moment. But let's just take that point right there. And, uh, oh, we do have one extra point. Let's go ahead and take that right there. Basically just to get us out of our, our root location. Let's go ahead... Grab ourselves some vector plates. And we won't keep this permanently here. Um, but if we did this, I don't know if it's going to throw me off. Nope. There we go. Uh, so you can see we're shooting up experience uh, on this. So this is a little AFK system we can set up. Because uh, if we just stand here, of course we are getting experience technically, but it's extremely slow. Uh, but if we stand on this, we can generate our experience very, very quickly and kind of shoot up through the levels and even faster once we um, once we get a few experience-based nodes. Uh, let's go ahead and come over here. And then we're going to come over... Of course, what I need is mining speed, for sure. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, there's a couple perk experience. They're pretty small, but we're going to shoot for those first. Uh, what I'd really like to get is our Epiphany perk, because that's going to give us access. These are all basically just a whole lot of perk experience, uh, and we can gain access to kind of all the all the uh, Epiphany nodes. If we take this one, we can easily get all of those. So that's generally going to be our first stop to go for. Uh, there's also a 16% experience increase uh, here and here. It's just pretty good. Um, and then, of course, anything that boosts our effectiveness of perks will uh, impact our perk experience as well, which is pretty good. Uh, but at this point, we can pick up our very first perk. Oh, wait. <laughs> I thought that one was... Uh, that's okay. It's effectiveness, which kind of does sort of the same thing. But there's a lot of times while I'm building that uh, I'll AFK or something briefly. Um, and take a break, stand up, that sort of thing. Uh, and so this just gives me a place to kind of AFK and quickly build up uh, some experience. Now we could probably upgrade these vector plates to uh, the extreme ones, I imagine. We could try that and see if it's a little bit faster. As long as it's not too fast because there, reach a, there comes a point kind of uh, where you can potentially move too fast to where it throws you off of things. Yeah, like that. All right, now it is it is night. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, let me pop over to home really, really quick. And this way, attunement is something we really, ideally you'll get it up and going like very, very quick. Uh, but we tend to wait, at least for a little bit. But it's good that we do have it set up now. Uh, because it's a little bit overdue. I don't think we have that one just yet. And it's going to be like that. There we go. Uh, so at this point, we really need to go out and find more uh, papers. You can also craft them, but uh, it's pretty easy just to go out in the world. Unless you're like on a server or something like that. Uh, it's fairly easy just to go out in the world and get them. Finding a bunch that I don't actually have papers for, though, at the moment. Okay, uh, let's go ahead at this point. Uh, there's a couple I'm not going to be able to get. Uh, but at this point, we should go out and just find some papers. Uh, there's a bunch of altars around this mountain. So, All right, so we got Heraldium. Uh, which this one, I do not believe was up tonight. So that one's one of the rarest. So if it is up, you kind of want to go for it. But And then we got Paletrio and we got Fornax. Uh, there's Mineralis and Octans. Oh no, that's... Ah, I just missed it too. Well, that was Mineralis there, but uh, I'm not going to be able to get it tonight. That's fine. Let's see what we got. We got Boots, Lucerna, 
Yeah, that's it. Okay. I know we, we gotta be getting pretty close. But uh, we'll grab these anyways. Oh, there's another one in here. There we go. So we got all the the minor parks now. Or all the minor constellations now. It's unfortunate that our uh, ritual brazier didn't quite work out for us. Um, I was really hoping that, that would, to be honest. But uh, I'll, I'll figure out how I want to go... How, the route that I want to take, like occultism, it's not really ideal because we have to use a gin book every, and do that ritual every single time, like every single night, uh, which is no fun. And uh, we could do the source jar with the ritual brazier in the overworld. I mean, it's just a wild and wing and a uh, a piece of wood uh, to do that ritual. So it's not too bad, but. Uh, I don't think that's the route that I want to take because we don't have source in the overworld um, so it's really not ideal either yeah we're actually pretty close to sage um I don't have this epiphany unlocked just yet which uh once it hits night again maybe I'll get lucky and get this unlocked uh, I do have the dexterity epiphany unlocked uh, but since we didn't go in that direction uh we'll get that but not just yet and then I don't remember what this one does. All these locked ones, they're going to come from just discovering the constellations, like what we're doing with the telescope. So uh, it's all stuff that we'll get. We just got to work our way up to it. So we probably have, yeah, we've got veracity and we've got ephemerality uh, unlocked as well. So the ones that I'm missing are, uh, well, it's going to be Armara and Avatos, I think. Because those are the only two that I don't have. So I've just got to discover those two nodes and then I can get the epiphany node here. Okay, it's night again. I've actually gotten up to level 17 uh, at present. I did pick up our sage. <clears throat> uh, and then we have one additional point, uh, which hopefully we're going to be able to use that after tonight. Waiting for it to get just dark enough so that I can start drawing. There we go. All right, there's octans. There we go. There's Avatos. There we go. And looks like that's all we're going to find tonight. Okay. Uh, is that the one that I need, though, for this epiphany? It is. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and grab Chakra of Continuity. Uh, so we're going to get Perk Experience and Effectiveness of Perks. And then we can hop back on this. Uh, you can see we're actually getting experience pretty quickly. Uh, thanks to like Sage and getting all this effectiveness of perks. Uh, it's actually helping us out quite a bit Because uh, it does add up and then just the perk experience So even at this level we're getting through XP pretty quickly And we'll be able to pick up six here and then as soon as we grab that well, then we can just click on this get six more And I'm mainly looking at the big ones uh, Generally, there's a little bit of perk experience on some of the small ones, but uh, I'm kind of look. I'm kind of focusing on the larger nodes around the edge. Yeah, like uh, clarity. All right, so let's go ahead and take this, uh, and then once we get this last one, then we'll unlock our epiphany node. Uh, so we need to be at least level twenty, yeah, basically. And then we are going to shoot straight for dexterity, and that way we can pop over and grab clarity. Because uh, that's going to be a 16, 20% increase to uh, perk experience. Uh, it's going to take a couple levels to get over there, but not too bad. Okay, night's starting to set back in, um, but really quickly. Let's go ahead now. We can grab our Epiphany Continuity node. So we're going to take that. And then, uh, and you can see that just taking the Epiphany Dexterity gives us all 6% from this. Um probably at this point go ahead and grab ephemerity ephemerity <laughs> that thing what are we up to 54.94 percent perk experience gained uh, which is quite good uh, you can see it's going up and then i can grab this epiphany node and then if we get our last uh, constellation which i want to say is our mara that we're missing uh, we can we can get that as well all right, let's go ahead, pop over, 
So at like two more levels, we'll be setting pretty good. And then I'm going to work my way up to the clarity node after that, I think. Perfect. There we go. And there's four necks. And uh, looks like that's all that's out tonight. Uh, we've actually got... Uh, let's see, we've got all five of the majors. We also have Naritas. Uh, we're missing Heraldium, which is fine. We're missing Pelotrio. Uh, Mineralis. Boots. And that's it. So we're missing four uh, at the moment. Which isn't too bad. Uh, and I'm curious... We're actually, we actually have a lot of starlight here, just naturally, uh, in this location. Uh, which is, I'm glad because I just set this up because this is where it fit, you know, into this area. Uh, when I was setting up the multi-blocks, I was like, I'm going to put it here. And I was able to lay all the multi-blocks that we're going to have up here. I was able to lay all those out and still have space. Because next episode, we're going to be doing a little bit related to Liquid Starlight uh, with, like, the Light Whale and uh doing some automation related to liquid starlight because i don't want to have to keep making that manual um <clears throat> so we'll be tackling that next episode and uh possibly setting up something for easy night setting it just depends on what i decide i want to go with um 65.8 all right but i know it's about wrapping up point for this episode so we're going to end this one out here and then next episode, when we come back, we'll be doing a bit more with Astral Sorcery. Now that we've got the, kind of the progression out of the way, uh, at least the bulk of it, we will still be doing... Um, uh, we'll probably get into, like, resonating gems and stuff like that. I don't know if it'll be next episode or the episode after when we get into, like, Starlight Collector multi-blocks and stuff. Uh, but I think we're going to go ahead and push on through a bit of Astral Sorcery. Maybe spend the week doing some Astral Sorcery-related stuff. Uh, but next episode, I think I want to focus on Liquid Starlight and then just a few things to uh, make our time in Astro Sorcery a little bit nicer. I think that'll be our focus next episode. Um, and then go from there. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe, I'll see you guys then.